Kintoy. It was probably the hardest of the shorts. It was this great little idea that I had gotten from looking at videotape of my nephew playing with his toys. Everything he picked up went into his mouth and he slobbered on it. I thought, imagine what it must be like to be a toy in the hands of a baby. That baby is like a monster. It was a challenge. It was twice as long as Red Stream, had twice as many shots. It was using Mimvi or Marionette, our animation system, for the first time. It was using Renderman for the first time. And it had our first human character, the baby, in it. It was a much more organic kind of character. Skin, facial animation, even though when you look at it today, you sort of go, ooh, <laughs> that's a weird looking baby. I had to write a whole system to do the modeling. What now seems amazingly primitive at the time was the, the limit of what we had figured out how to do with the computer. So we were doing things like soft shadows and the textures of wood flooring and cloth on the couch and a magazine on the couch. So everybody who could model anything uh, had to pitch in to make a toy to go under the couch. I made the little airplane. I built the fire hydrant. I modeled a robot who's hiding under the couch. And Ed Catmull said, well, I'll, I'll make something for you. Uh, how about an elephant? Great, Ed, we'd love an elephant. So he went off and decided, well, to do an elephant, first I need to implement Bezier patches in our modeling language. So he did that. And then he sketched an elephant on a piece of graph paper. And then he sat down with a text editor and manually entered the coordinates for every point on the elephant. And out came a perfect elephant. And that is the most math geeky thing we had ever seen. It was the first 3D computer animation ever to win an Academy Award. But the most important thing that Tintoy did was plant in our heads the idea of toys being alive. And out of that grew Toy Story. 